Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to delete typing history on Android. So for some devices, sometimes when we type things on our browsers or into our documents, sometimes our settings or Gboard actually records some of the words that you type in to better increase your usability or usage of the keyboard itself. So it's going to learn some words in it and we want to actually delete that and basically resetting our keyboard here. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to go to settings. Under settings, you want to scroll down a bit and you see until you see the additional settings section. So just click on it. And from here, you want to click on the languages and input section. So in here, you'll be able to see a few settings like for example, current keyboard, languages and manage keyboards. So right now we want to actually edit our keyboards. So here, just click on manage keyboards and under manage keyboards, we want to click on the keyboard that we want to actually edit or remove the typing history for. So for example, if you have multiple keyboards installed in your Android device, just go ahead and click on the setting for that. So for this example, we only have Gboard on our device here. So just click on settings. Now in here, you want to actually scroll down a bit until you see the privacy section. So under privacy, you'll be able to see different settings here, but the really important thing that we want to look for here is we want to look for delete, learn words and data. So clear all on device data that Gboard has saved to improve your typing and voice typing experience. Like I said before, some words will be learned by Gboard on your device here. So just click on delete or learn words. And from here, your learn words will be erased. This operation cannot be undone. To confirm delete, enter the following numbers to continue. So you just need to enter the code that you see on your screen there and just click on okay. And you will be deleting your typing history on Android. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you and thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you can use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.